Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, the new rules uh, for a PhD in India. The UGC set new rules for PhD in India, although the notification came earlier uh, in November. It's like November, in the middle of November. But now we are making this video because here in this video, I am not going to just tell you what is the new rule for doing PhD in India, but also whether this new rule is going to add some value or not and my opinion on that fact. The, the rule that has changed here, the UGC set a rule for doing PhD, the eligibility for doing PhD in India earlier was to have MSc or MSc equivalent, master equivalent degree and you need to score 55% in that degree in order to be eligible, okay, in a general category. Now, the modern new rule is if someone is from four year BSc program, any of this program where the four year like BTEC courses most uh, common type. So four years BS or graduation program, they are still capable or eligible for uh, the NET examination for doing PhD if they get more than 75% in aggregate score or percentage in their four year graduation program. So earlier it was uh, the MS program or MS equivalent program with 55% eligibility, 55% marks are eligible for were eligible for PhD and now it is 75% in their four year bachelor's program are eligible for doing PhD. So basically to do PhD you don't uh, you no longer need to do MS or master equivalent program if you have done four year graduation equivalent program. So four year graduation program means BTEC let's imagine we are talking about life sciences so BTEC biotechnology four years BTEC biotechnology student after that can go for PhD without MTech or any other MS program in the middle. So this is something new about the UGC norms for doing PhD in India. Now the question is, the question is always there like, now although we can do that, right? Students can do that, but is it good for the research? Is it good for the future generation? Because the thing is earlier, the MSc course is always a thought to be a connected course or connecting course. It's connecting your graduation with a research work that is PhD and the middle one that is the MSc that is the bridge course. So basically the MSc syllabus is not entirely new from the graduation. The master syllabus remains very similar to the graduation course. Only the topics are a little more detailed and some research, some extra components are added, which was designed in a way that an individual gets a proper exposure to a subjective knowledge in order to continue their PhD program. And that's quite logical that an individual should be clear about the topic in order to go into the PhD. Because once you are into the PhD, earlier, uh, like 10, 20 years back, there was no, uh, no such course, uh, PhD coursework programs, which was not mandatory. So people directly go and get into the research, practical job. In that case, they need to have proper theory guidance to be done or to be known before uh, going into the PhD. But now there is a coursework mandatory for PhD. So that is one there. So obviously whatever thing you need to be understood will be provided during your coursework of PhD. But alongside if someone is going from graduation to directly PhD, there is no masters, will it cause any change? The thing is many uh, academics believe that they should update the graduation four years graduation program courses as well because they should incorporate some things which were missing which were present earlier in the masters but now missing because students will definitely jump from graduation four years to the PhD. So whatever thing they will be missing in the MS time should be incorporated in the syllabus in the graduation four year time frame. This is something that many academics believe and many believe that, that it will not add uh, or change anything much because in the MS times in the masters times students generally uh, revise what they understood in the graduation. So graduation is the study, the four year graduation course will be the key where you understand most of the things clearly. And once the vision is clear, then you can go with the PhD without any issue. So there are this huge debate between two types of academics, one's believing that this is going to end up in a bad researcher, producing a bad researcher, producing a carbon copy of PhD thesis and uh, this is uh, something many people believe and many other people believe it will not have so much impact instead what you have that yes during ms program and phd there is always a contact and understanding of the subject that contact game means uh, when the students build contacts well multidisciplinary science uh, 
can be properly enjoyed by the students, particularly in field like life sciences. So those opportunities are something lacking. So if any accessory, uh, any accessory idea to incorporate any of this uh, multidisciplinary science and incorporation can be done, which would be better, but this will not lead to any harm. So this is what people are saying, two different uh, type of people are saying. But remember one thing, in our education system, the idea is always based on this fact that uh, those who are saying that there won't be any impact are giving numerous examples. Examples of heavyweight academics, heavyweight researchers in India uh, who are from Indian colleges and universities are only doing, they have only done uh, the BTEC, they have only done the four years graduation program and then PhD and now they are occupying some big positions and now not only they are occupying big positions but also they became uh, big researchers, they became big name in the field of research as well as academics. So, you know, the good students uh, will always find their way to reach the top, the pinnacle and obviously those who are hungry for understanding new things and who are passionate about the research will go that top. And those who are not hungry for learning and are not passionate about for their research work will struggle and automatically will be filtered out. So that's what we believe uh, this new rule for PhD is going to do. So again, it's a good thing for many of you who are currently in the graduation four year course, but you need to score more than 75% in a general category. So that's all about this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this in future. Thank you. Bye.